Hi everybody. Okay, in this video I'm going to help you do what is probably the most difficult part of the whole IA process and that is coming up with a topic. So actually let me start with this point here. This is a famous quote from Abraham Lincoln which is give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening my axe. Now how this is relevant to the IA is spend time take your time coming up with a good topic um, it is essential that you have the appropriate topic for you and that you don't just rush into picking a topic just because your all your friends have a topic or whatever um, I've seen that happen many a time where students just go okay I don't know what to do uh, I'll just do correlation between life expectancy and GDP because thousands of people have done that before done and then you give it to your teacher and he says fine and then you go right let's let's do it but you'd be better off taking your time thinking well what what am I going to do I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second and then um, do a proper IA I've even had a situation where someone's dumped an IA like three months after starting it and then done a much better IA within a week because they had a great topic so get uh, let me write that down actually because that's so important. Get a great topic before you do anything. Okay, next thing. Choose something you will find interesting, right? That's obvious, but do it. So if you're really into, say, Formula One and there's something you can do on, I don't know, average speeds or whatever um do it or is that something if there's part of formula one that you're really really interested in you've never you, you'd like to know the maths behind it go for it if you're really interested in a certain type of mathematics like i don't know calculus you can say all right i really want to study something in calculus what can i do should i find should i find the topic and then choose the math or choose the math and then find the topic well either you can say i like formula one what what SL maths is there that I can do with it, Formula One? Or you can say, I like um, normal distribution. Where can I find normal distribution? And ideally, you kind of find them both together at the same time. Um, so, yeah, that's not, that, there's no simple answer or there's no one right answer for that. Talk to your teacher, right? Now, that's essential because. Uh, one your teacher is going to give you advice on what works and what don't work and two if the if your teacher says if your teacher says i've seen this well not i've seen this ia before but i know that ia will work that's what that's what you want to hear from your teacher you want to hear from your teacher i know that i that ia will work uh, then you've got a good topic if your teacher says i know that i that ia won't work that's also good because you can just you know don't do it and then sometimes you'll get from your teacher, I don't know, it might work. And that's actually interesting too, because that's the that's part of the that's part of the whole exploration, finding out if something's good or if it, or, or if it's not, if it works and if it doesn't work. These are the two questions I often ask my students at the at the beginning is what is your aim? So to tell me your aim. So think about that. And then two, if you have a graph, what will your axes be? So sometimes like if if you you think you you know what you want to do say let's say formula one we're doing formula one and we're going to measure um lewis hamilton's speed over velocity over over a given time and it goes like this well you say what's well, what's going on what's the the x-axis well this is time and what's the y-axis well this is Velocity. So this is now your velocity time graph, something like that. Okay. Um, oh yeah. And finally, arguably the most important one is do the math. Now, what I mean by that is, before you go writing your your whole IA or whatever, do do the math. Do the whole complete the mathematics required for your IA on paper with a pencil, and then you'll know you'll know if it works. You'll know if your IA works, if, if your IA is going somewhere. And if it does, and if it goes somewhere, you can you have your math, and then it's just a case of kind of wrapping your writing reflections and 
uh, presentation and all that around the mathematics that you've already done. And and the flip side of that is, and this I've seen this happen before, where a student says to me, I'm going to do the correlation between, I don't, I don't remember what it was, but let's say the correlation between height and um, goals scored or something like that, right? Goals scored in a, in a football match. And they, they write the introduction, they write their reflection, they go and get their data, they um, maybe even write a conclusion. And then they show it to me and it's like the correlation coefficient is zero because there's no relationship whatsoever between the height and goal scored in this particular example. And at that point, I'm like, don't do it. If you're going to do a correlation IA, pick, pick something, pick two variables that actually correlate, that are useful. Um, and now you could argue, well, my investigation was to see if there was correlation. And I'd say, well, fine, but you're better off to just, it'll work out better if you pick two variables that actually have correlation. Okay. Um, that's that done. Not the not the video, but just my introduction to this video. What I'm going to do now is show you a number of topics that work and that that I've seen work well. Note, you can do your IA on anything, right? You, do, you certainly do not have to do something that I'm about to show you here. In fact, I love to see new ideas that I've never seen before. That that work. That's that's. That's great. If you have a topic um, or a comp complicated mathematics that you want to use and you want to do and you have an idea, go for it. Absolutely. But the, I just want to give you some inspiration here. I want to show you things, topics that I know have worked in the past. OK, so let's start with that linear modeling, right? So this is the most popular topic ever done in IAs, without a doubt. It It's it's you get two, you've two variables, unemployment rate, crime rate, you want to see is there a correlation between the two. And then you can find the linear regression equation and say and make predictions. This is what where someone's found data from the World Bank probably. And this one someone's actually collected the data. It's they're, they're doing the time worked out and the calories burnt. And she's collected her own data there, which is good. That adds a bit more of a personal touch to this than this. It's arguably hard to get good person well to get three out of three for personal engagement in a in a correlation IA. And a lot of teachers will tell you you can't get the top grades in an IA. Now it's true or sorry in a correlation IA. It's true that it's unusual to see a correlation IA get a get a seven or a high six. It's unusual to see that, but it's it's certainly not impossible. Of course you can. If you if you present it well and demonstrate thorough understanding and do tick all the boxes in the criteria of course you can get you can get 20 out of 20 if you do it properly so that's a it's look it's a good solid topic i would i wouldn't recommend it for everyone but if you're really struggling to come up with something go for it i i, I would go this this is really for ai aisl maybe AASL if you want. You can also look at, now they've, we've Spearman's, Spearman versus Pearson. So that's actually adds an extra dimension to this where you can look at the, the, the two correlation coefficients, which is, and yes, this is only in applications, but which is more, which is more appropriate in a given situation. That's linear modeling, quadratic modeling. I've shown you many of these examples in my other criteria videos often they're to do with ball sports but they don't have to be table tennis one this guy's comparing his serve to a professional uh, volleyball player's serve and then there's lots to do there's lots you can do in this once you have your your quadratic model you can find the maximum you can use calculus to find the angles and and the gradients loads of different things you can do this guy even finds the area under the curve and explains why that is useful. I'll show you in another video how to actually model this using uh, a video. Higher polynomials. So look, if you can get data that does something like this, 
are curves in some way, you're you're on a winner there because you have you can model it. This is a higher polynomial, so this is a quartic. So it's and it's motorcycle deaths in the US. So what's happened is the deaths have increased, reached a maximum, and then they started to decrease for some reason. And then they started to increase for some reason. And then maybe they're going to decrease again. We don't know. But you can find like uh, find these maximum and minimums and then relate this date to what was happening in real life. And why, why has this happened? There must be a reason. And then there's loads of opportunity for reflection, um, personal engagement, all that stuff. Exponential modeling. So look, there's loads of exponential functions in real life compound interest, exponential growth. This guy did his IA on um, coffee cooling. So, and, it, and he had a great aim. His aim was to find how long to wait before the coffee reaches its the best temperature to drink, which he, he discovered there was actually, there was actually a research done. What's the What's the perfect temperature at which you should drink your, your coffee? And it depends because he's in Dubai. So it depends if he's outside in the heat or if he's in the cool um, air con of 19 degrees. And look, he's putting these photos here to show you what he's done. And it's not those photos aren't just for the sake of adding photos. It shows, look, he's gone to trouble. He's, he's gone to trouble. He's used this hardware to measure the temperatures. He's actually well, look, that's nice to show you he's in an air, air conditioned room and he's got his pot of coffee, whatever. Very good. Idea. OK, one of my favorite types of IA is the sin sinusoidal modeling. That's this type of model that increases and decreases, and increases, de decreases peri periodically. This one, I'll do this one first. One of my favorite IAs modeling a Ferris wheel. And this is actually in Dubai. The Dubai Eye is the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. It still hasn't opened. It's been, it's literally being built since I've been in Dubai for five years. But anyway, um, so as time passes, this is the height compared to the time. As time passes, the Ferris, the, the, whatever you're sitting in the capsule and the first wheel goes up and then it goes down then it goes up and then it goes down and you can find you can make this model and then you can find at which time you're above a certain height so maybe you can see your house or something like that um this is so sinusoidal models is great for weather temperature in temperature in a given country or or um climate change it's great for measuring climate change or like the ice the ice in the North Pole, how much ice is there. But this guy's one was an excellent aim. He wanted to figure out how much time is the temperature, is it actually warmer in Melbourne than Dubai? So like Dubai is hotter all the time, but just a tiny little bit here where the temperature in Melbourne, where it's actually warmer, so that's probably January or something. So just for like two two or three weeks, it's actually warmer in Melbourne and all the rest of the time it's warmer in Dubai. So yeah, great, great topics there. Next one, logistic modeling. So the logistic models are the ones that do this, this kind of thing. They increase like exponentially at first and then there's a point of inflection here, which is nice um, because you can use calculus to find it. And then it starts to slow down and kind of reaches this max here. So this is, this was done with, um, this is a, a HL, a HLIA actually, but you could definitely do it in standard level. And it's, again, a great aim, really nice aim. The aim was when will India's population surpass China's population? And you can see this is India's population. It's increasing at a, at a faster rate than China, China's population, which its its growth rate is actually slowing down. So it's past the point of inflection. There's loads of things you can talk about there. And he discovered it's, what's that like? Years from 50, so that's 2010, 2020. So look, 2024 maybe, that's when he's predicted it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, definitely standard level and or higher level depends how deep you want to go into it. And this is a standard level one um, modeling the coronavirus, which is quite current at the moment. 
in Italy, this is what happened. It started going crazy. But as more and more people get infected, it slows down and it reaches a, a maximum here. Um, ellipse modeling. I've sh I showed you this IA in the communication uh, video, I believe, or the presentation one. That was a particularly difficult one because she was doing surface area. The, the ellipse works great for volume. If you're doing the volume of a revolution, um, standard level or higher level analysis in particular, it's it it's actually not as difficult as, as you would think because you end up, for the volume, you end up squaring the square root. So I think it's a really nice topic. Easter eggs, the uh, topic I've mentioned before is, yeah, how many, I don't know if you've ever eaten Cadbury's cream eggs, but they're delicious. How many Cadbury's cream eggs can you fit in a full cream egg? Um, rugby ball, any, think of an ellipse that you might want to find the volume of and you can do it. Um, okay. Data analysis, right. I, look, this is a really popular one and an open topic. You can do this on anything. What, what I mean by data analysis is find the mean, median, mode, range, um, standard deviation by hand, you can do it, the variance, uh, draw, draw a histogram, cumulative frequency curve, draw box plots. So this is from my lesson on box plots where we're comparing pa Paul and Daniel's 400 meter times and look at it, you can, you can talk, there's a lot to talk about here. Who is a better runner? It's debatable. Paul's got a better PB, but Daniel's clearly more consistent and ha there's less variance in his times. Who knows what Paul does some of the time where he's he's like nearly well it's nearly seven seconds slower on certain days than his PB. Um so yeah that's there's loads of there's loads of things you could do that on comparing Messi v Ronaldo. Can you find um good data on that that you can use? Now remember you have to use data that's commensurate with the level of the course. If you just find the mean that's probably not good enough. You want to really get into standard deviation by hand and stuff. I guess this would be AI SL mainly. I guess AASL if it was if it was good, yeah. You, you could as well. Okay, I want to I'm, I want to break up this video because well, I've already recorded this video and I and I had and I had to bin it because my screen recorder wasn't happy with the length of the video. So this is the f first part. I'm going to do a sec the second part where I go through normal distribution and and more more examples. So see you in the next lesson.